This article and video were produced in partnership with GoPro and the new HER07 Black, featuring hypersmooth image stabilization. For a chance to win $1,000 in the Coming in at 4,138 vertical feet, the top to bottom run at Jackson Hole is a rite of passage for skiers and their quads everywhere. Dropping over twice the vertical of average ski runs in North America, this legendary descent features more kinds of terrain in one go than you can find on most mountains in an entire day. To put the GoPro HER07 Black's new hypersmooth technology to the test, TGR star Tim Dirchi just cranked a run featuring everything from the legendary Corbett School War to mogul fields to pristine groomers. He didn't stop, he didn't use a gimbal, and the entire thing is so smooth it's almost enough to make you think you could do the same. If you're masochistic enough to try, here are the cliff notes, pun intended, Corbett's cool are to ten sleep roll or a short ski down from Corbett's cabin, waffles, and the Jackson Hole tram, Corbett's cool war is one of the steepest inbound ski runs in North America, a puckering proving ground for Jackson's elite. Skiers can dare off the top cornice into the 40 degree cool war or take dirt cheese ski en route, a blind right turn into steep terrain and variable snow. Hold on and add one big notch to the ski belt. Fall, and it's a long ride to the bottom, often in full view of an oncoming tram full of people laughing at you. For those that make it into the apron with a little extra momentum, do as Dirty does and launch the ten sleep roller at Skyers right for some well-earned airtime backflips optional. Expert shoot into the amphitheater after airing it out at the top of ten sleep, loop a right and day expert shoot, a ribbon of white that dissects a dramatic cliff band before connecting with the manicured pieces near the thunder quad. This shot tends to get a lot of traffic, and can get bumped up early, but Dirty's ski legs and the HER07 keep the footage smooth all the way through. Room goodness on paintbrush and Broadway give the legs a break with big turns down paintbrush before emptying out into Broadway and the groomed amphitheater corridor running skyers left of the thunder chair. For Dirty, this also provided a moment to link up some side hits, and one of the mountain's lower pillow lines at the bottom of the Alta shoots. Sending it in digs Ditch Jackson's infamous natural half pipe is chock full of jumps and jibs between fast bretty skiing. Start things off by cutting left under the marmot double chair and sending a big air into Dick's ditch from the traverse. Then it's time to hold on tight through the chundry snow snake. Keeping a steady camera can be tough here, so if you don't have new powder, turn on the HER07's hypersmooth technology and you'll still come out with brag-worthy footage. Little way down, the Tari 8 jumps its prime and ready, a Sandy Jackson hip jump along the Skyers right side of the ditch that can go as big or small as you are willing to give her. For those that escape the top of Dick's unscathed, connect with the South Pass Traverse until it passes under the bridge or gondola, then point them downhill on Sundance. Natural log slide to the tram Linny your legs are officially screaming, but don't fear, the bottom is only a cool thousand feet of vertical away. Luckily, it's the mellowest section of the day, as Sundance is a Hollywood line meant for big arcing turns between ski schools and Texas tourists. For those looking to spice things up, take Dirty's line off the natural log slide on the skier's right of Sundance Gully, and then cut over on way home to connect with the bottom of the tram. If another lap is too much for one day, don't worry, the mangy moose, the iconic ski bar that is said to have many an antidote for exhausted hillbangers, is right next door.